uh, Gavin. Say good night, Gavin. Good night, Gavin. Thank you, Gavin. Um, James, thanks for doing the show. Pleasure. Uh, wonderful first of all, before, before I get into James, listen, it's great to have you back on Countdown. Yeah, it's nice. Um, in fact, Look when was the last time you were on? About what? About six, seven six years, years ago. ago. And you sort of come out of the young talent time syndrome. I used to get booed. <laughs> I know, and you were in tears one day. No, it really is good to have you back. You're looking great at the moment, don't Thank you reckon? You. She looks yeah, unreal. yeah. Thank and you. the song. <laughs> the song, who wrote the song? I've got to ask you that. Oh, look, this is really embarrassing. Uh, a guy, Fran, right. um, with the crocodiles, and I can't pronounce his last right. name, but... It's a nice song. Yeah, it's beautifully like produced it. by Cameron, and uh, I hope it does. Well, so I'm do I. Oh, isn't it lovely? <laughs> and James, uh, it yeah. must have been sort of really hard after the boys light up to wonder what to do. Um, yeah, we try not to worry about it. Actually, I mean, everyone keeps saying, "Oh, you know, the pressure must be immense." But right. we just keep now, Soraka, when's that actually out? I think it's about uh, mid to late June. Right. I think now, the single must be out now. Now, listen, like a lot of groups, because I hear that the Flowers are not going to use Cameron for their next album, you changed producers, David Briggs did the last, mm -hmm. um, and now Peter Dawkins has done Sirocco, or most of it. Um, he did it all for you. Was it a new sound? I mean, obviously, I mean, I've heard five tracks, and it, yeah. it, it's a different sound, I think, for Yeah, it's a lot more representative of the band, I think. Um, David, in his keenness, kind of makes a real studio album. I mean, we're sort of... We're really happy with this one because it's so representative of the right. band. We did a lot of... A lot more. We had a lot more to do with it this time than the last time. Right. And back on the road, when when Tuesday. is there any? Yeah. And yeah. any mate, like a tour, is it or? Oh, we're just we're doing pubs. Right. We're just going to do a pub tour for you know, a couple of months. All right. Well, listen. We wish you luck with the with the album. I Thank think you very much. after the five tracks I've heard, you don't need much luck, and especially with your single as well. Thank All right. It's time to say good night. Before we say good night tonight, the number one record, in fact, this week is in fact uh, Roxy Music with Jealous Guy, which I think is quite superb. But we had a, a, a very valid letter in this week. Um, it went on, uh, uh, dear Molly, and it went on to say, we would like to voice a complaint about Brian Ferry and Roxy Music's song, Jealous Guy, on behalf of the John Lennon fans. It seems that the music industry is really going downhill when someone can steal a song from someone else and be told how good it is, particularly in this case where John Lennon is not around to defend himself. John Lennon was a wonderful man, and if Brian Ferry had honestly cut Jealous Guy as a tribute to him, then we'd all be proud. But he didn't. He cut it for his own benefit. Well, we don't know that. The money is not going as it should to Yoko Ono or to a charity, meaning Yoko Ono's charity that uh, John, in fact, set up with Yoko, but into Brian's pocket. It's a very valid point, and I sincerely hope that perhaps Brian, the part of the royalties that go out because it's been an enormous hit, do in fact go to uh, uh, the charity that uh, John uh, set up and was so sincere in. All right? It's time to say goodnight. Sorry good for night. that heavy bit on the end of the show. Good night, James. Best Thank of you. luck. And Debbie, it's great to have you back. Thank All right? Good night. Good night, Australia, with Jealous Guy, number one, Roxy Music.